So we're keeping families together, and this will solve that problem. It is really impossible for anyone but the president to say how in the heck he made this kind of complete flip-flop in one week. But it probably had something to do with the pressure that was on him from the public, from his fellow party members, from clergy, and from his own family. Ivanka feels very strongly. My wife feels very strongly about it. Uh, I feel very strongly about it. I think uh, anybody with a heart would feel very strongly about it. We don't like to see families separated. Families being separated in the first place was the doing of President Trump and his zero tolerance policy on all illegal border crossings. So in essence, he simply just solved the problem he created. But he did not at all take away the zero tolerance policy. Illegal crossers are still going to be detained and prosecuted. The only difference now is that families will be detained together. It's about keeping families together while at the same time being sure that we have a very powerful, very strong border and border security will be equal, if not greater than previously. President Trump's executive order also changes one other thing you've heard us talking about on Breaking the News this week. We told you about something called the Flores Settlement. That meant that families, illegal crossing families, could only be held together for 20 days. Well, this order takes that number out and gives no time limit to how long they can be held. The order says, quote, it will detain alien families together throughout the pendency of criminal proceedings for improper entry. And finally, this executive order in some ways is just a Band-Aid because the president is kicking the football back to you know who. We will be going through Congress. We're working on a much more comprehensive bill. Hmm. One more thing we have to add. There's a caveat to that executive order, and it has to do with that Flores settlement. Now, the president and his administration are asking the Justice Department to change that settlement, to be, have them be able to hold these families indefinitely mm -hmm. until the court proceedings. A judge has to sign off on that. And it's possible, I'm not saying it will happen, it's possible that judge doesn't. Essentially, they're making like an emergency appeal to your ruling. Or like, right. you got to change your ruling, you got to change your ruling. Right. But this is like an Obama-appointed judge who didn't even give that to President Obama, so why would he give it to President Trump? So what we're saying is that executive order may not do anything, correct? I'm, May not. I'm, I'm just saying that a judge has to okay this very specific part. So Got we it. don't know. This isn't a done deal yet. Well,